Here we are back in the lab over here on the bench. I've just gotten the circuit boards in from Easy EDA. Getting back to Craig Anderton's electronic projects for musicians. This is the circuit board for the first project. All right, so I only ordered a few of these. Squidworks uh, electronic projects for musicians project one preamp. Uh, and if you can see, I've put all the component values in here. It is kind of small. Put names for all of the pads there. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to populate this and yeah, give this a shot. Generally, when you're populating a board like this, you start with the shortest components first, which is things like resistors and the, you know, the small disk capacitors like that. Just a few scrubs with that and that's good and clean. Get a couple of these things soldered in and then I won't bore you with having you watch every single one of them. Alright, that should do it for all those guys. Snip off that one last lead. There. I also added these, not so much because I'm afraid to uh, actually solder in the 8-pin uh, um, dual op amps. It's just that I really wanted that there is an option in case I want to remove them and try out a different spec. Do these last few little cat whiskers and then I can start putting the peripheral stuff on. Finishing up the volume and the gain pots here. Reference it references from this voltage to ground or the reference and the orange wire there that's the wiper this is what's fun about prototyping but we have got the uh, switch for the diodes we've got the gain knob um, input power volume and non-inverting output I don't have the XLR hooked up yet. I uh, don't have the buffer hooked up to anything or the meter. Don't like the sound of that. I'm not plugged in. switching it to ground. Okay, after a little messing around with this, I wound up having to make a few changes. Uh, let me show you on the schematic and then I can point to those changes uh, on the circuit board. I wound up having to add a small capacitor here. Now I've got a two microfarad. This part of the circuit is going to be slightly positive uh, probably around that 6 volt mark there. And then on the master volume out, I also put another uh, another capacitor there. Um, but anyway, it, it's kind of confusing where I put that on, on here. That a, a better representation of that would be down here. Last thing I added was another electrolytic capacitor right there on that reference voltage at uh, 22 microfarads that should be enough uh, what I what I have found out is when when you split a voltage like this and create this virtual ground in the middle 
you'll you'll get some noise from the input voltage coming in here it'll ripple a little bit adding this stabilizes that reference and since all of the signals uh, going into these op amps are with respect to that reference keeping that at that steady six volts right there in the middle um, got rid of all that noise so where did I put that on the circuit boards well that resistor right there turns out that leg is ground and the leg over there that's the reference voltage right there I added these you know, almost anemic little uh, capacitors there um, this is the volume and I did the same thing over here on the gain. All right, so what I'm about to do now is add the rest of these. Meter input, a meter output. Um, this will be the buffer out. Uh, and this is an XLR output. Oh, one last thing. I'm going to use this cigar box as an enclosure. I've got tons of these things. This one's mostly cardboard. Perfect for uh, for building a, uh, a little cigar box preamp here. So this is my input, output, power. Okay, so gain is on the left, volume is on the right. Gain, volume. Now I need to put in these other ones. out which is that guy and into the meter in and now this guy in the middle I will hook up to the meter over there all right Okay. Well, I'm going to call that quits for project one. I really don't want or need to have the XLR. All right, I'm calling it done. Project one.